Madame Noor, along with Exo Nicole and a ton of other sites, they've done gangbusters in artificially inflating the ego and confidence of Western women, the black ones in particular. This is uh, Madame Noir's own site, right? About Madame Noir, a space for the unapologetic black woman. We are passionate. We are real. We love us. Madame Noir is the leading lifestyle website for black women with more than 4 million unique visitors per, mo per month. Madame Noor launched in 2010 to serve as a daily source for news and inspiration for smart, stylish black women. The site's mission is to empower millennial women of color with engaging content that covers everything from health, fashion, and beauty to career, parenting, entertainment, and breaking news. That's right, this is this is where sis gets all of her, uh, gets all the chutzpah that she needs in order to go out there and just be as ratchet as she wants. But no, 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 this is where, this is for the classia, the classia sisters, right? Um, should you buy a house before you find a partner? This are, and what we're about to do, we're gonna go over some of the articles that they put out there. And this one in particular strikes a, a chord with me because if you are familiar with this channel's lore, I guess, me and my sister, we had an argument about this and I told her dead to her face that she'd never get married if she purchased the house before she found the husband. And she, and to this day, she's not even close, all right? <laughs> but it's written by Julia Austin. And let's check out some more of the articles that they have going on over here. Ways to, you may hurt a man's financial pride. See with teaching being such a prominent um position uh, uh, such an easy way to get women paid for the most part um yeah like there's a lot of women that make bank as teachers seriously um so they may end up making more money than the guy that you know they than whatever man that they're courting because he's probably off working for you know he may be making 15 20 an hour great awesome but you're still not going to be able to kick it that's still like what 30 30 uh 30 to 30 to 40 grand a year if you work full time as opposed to you know a lot of these women who go into these different pro professions that have you know guaranteed 50 uh you know saying 50 60 thousand dollar uh start starting off right funny uh moments you have when dating a younger man why you should date for five years before getting engaged a homemaker versus a kept woman what's the difference okay so as far as dating for five years before getting engaged sweetheart like it once again ladies it really is dependent on at what part in life you're in you're at you know because like if you're 18 yeah you got the five years to kill if you are 32 you really ain't got five years to kill <laughs> a homemaker versus a kept woman what's the difference children um <laughs> let's see uh yeah we're tired of him too sis it's hard on your friends if you're a relationship hopper. Julia Austin again. Signs you're ready to leave the city for the suburbs. Personal hair, personal care habits you're probably skipping. Written by Julia Austin. Yeah. How growing up in a in a militant household affects you. And notice it's all you know, quote unquote, women of color uh, in all of these uh, articles. This guys is Julia Austin. I'ma zoom in. That right there, right there. Hold on. I mean, just in just in case you're not picking up right there. Yeah, yeah. That's Julia Austin. She is uh, the unapologetic black woman that <laughs> all these ladies are taking their advice from. <laughs> that's the unapologetic black woman. <laughs> Y'all been getting Rachel Dolezald so hard and didn't even know it. Oh my goodness. So uh, she's been seen in MadamNoir.com, LinkedIn, Medium, HuffPost, Harvard Business Review, Harvard Business uh, Business School Working Knowledge, NewsOne.com, Bo Bostino, okay, Black America Web, Ricky Smiley Morning Show, uh, KXBB, uh, okay, a whole bunch of different radio stations and everything else like that. But yes, this is the sister. This is the sister. Right here. I mean, at least the dog's black. Right? <laughs> and they're feeling some kind of way. Oh, 
like, yo, all of the sisters that sat here and ate this woman's nonsense is feeling some kind of way. You know what? Power to you, darling. Power to you. Honestly, hey, straight up and down, you know, eh, she's she definitely looks to be on the older side of things. But, you know, a couple of pumps. It's, it's not a problem. She looks like uh, Anna Faris's, uh, you know, slow cousin. But either way, she ain't that slow because she's been getting over on y'all asses for like years now. I'm sorry. Look, guys, y'all know it does. It does. It shouldn't matter, right? The whole race thing shouldn't matter. If you have good advice, that good advice should be good across the board. Now, me, I, I'm no one to get advice from because I'm still trying to figure out my own shit. In every video, I'm like, hey, I'm an idiot, right? But um, I, I refuse to get you know uh, hoodwinked or bamboozled or worked over or receive just counterintuitive or counterproductive advice from someone who who's claiming to be something that they're not you know that's really where the problem is the problems in the deception of it all because the whole madame noir thing is just like yes we are unapologetically black women yes yeah but this is the this is one of their main contributors i mean you you see all of this work right it's oh my goodness what what tied him with him too sis that's right sis hold on <laughs> hold on oh my goodness a homemaker versus a kept woman. What's the difference? I I, I don't know. I, I really don't know, particularly within the quote unquote black community that has been sabotaged. I mean, guys, this is how it's been for the longest time. The same people that sit there and scream that how much they care are the same people that, you know, have found a way to grift off of that exact same identity politics nonsense that, you know, many of us just have given up on. It, it That doesn't matter. You know, like no more color qualifiers. All right. For real. Like, hey, if if you actually help somebody, Miss Austin, then you know what? Power to you. I'm not mad. I just find it hilarious how easily people are duped and duped these days when it comes to the internet because I, maybe it's because i was born at before the internet became mainstream i was a, I was a teenager when the internet really became mainstream so my entire life i've always took it, taken it with a grain of salt because it's like eh, yeah bro i can't really like i'm not going to sit there and trust anything too hard off the internet it's one of the reasons why me and bitcoin i'm just like i'm looking at it like oh no we'll see what the government does but yeah, this is uh, but but it's just been common knowledge for you know I guess my generation, which is really really early millennial, that the internet is full of weirdos and people that are happy that people that are pretending to be something that they're not, and you know this is just another instance of that, and I find it hilarious. And now they're out there trying to cancel Madame Noir, and when they and when Madame Noir both talks about their four million unique viewers every um every month right how many of them are actually black women how many of them are just karens recycling information to and fro each other right and and that's another thing you know oprah it really has a hand to play in this because you know if it's coming from a black woman such as oprah you know that's in many ways she has an entire cult of women that look exactly like this behind her so it's a uh, it's just really funny to me <laughs> That well, I saw I saw this posted, and I was just and the person who was posting it was just upset that Madame Nua, um, and I can guarantee you, Exo Nicole is really no different as far as you know their their contributors and their real agenda, and that's pushing this whole empowerment thing. When in reality, like ladies, like if, no, no, it all gets shut down. It can all get shut down in a blink of an eye. It really can. So, guys, with that being said. All the internet stuff. If you like to toss it a like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of yourself. If you enjoy my fantastic voice and want to give videos like this every single day, share because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch, you and like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications and speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? Uh, I find this to be utterly hilarious. Um, but you may not. You may really, you might be, you might have your feelings hurt, you know, or you should probably be checking up on the article, like every article that you read. You, you should probably click the link of the author and, you know, particularly if it's geared towards a certain demographic. All right. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comments and until the next one.